Are you coming off of the cloud yet? Yeah. What do you see down there below you? What's the first thing you see? A castle. Castle? Good. What else do you notice? On a hill. On a hill? Good. Can you tell me a little more about the castle? Not a big one. It's not a big one. Good. Do you notice any people? Lots of people around outside of it. Yes. Can you tell what's going on? People going about their day. Yes. Ox carts. Carrying hay. People gathering. Food. Firewood. Good. Look down at the ground. Can you see your feet? Yes. Good. Does the body feel male or female? Male. Young or old? Middle-aged. Okay, good. Does the body feel healthy? Yes. Good. Can you tell if there are any jewelry or ornaments on the body? Are you wearing anything? No. Just a hood. Okay, that's all right. Do you notice if you have anything in your hands? A rope. A rope. Okay. Can you tell what you're doing with this rope? Just carrying it. Just carrying it. Okay, good. I want you to go to the place where you live and look at the outside of it. Can you see that place? Are you able to... It looks to like a... I'm a sorry. Hut. A hut made of stone and sticks and grass. Okay, good. What else do you notice? I hear people inside. You hear people inside? Okay. Do you see how to go inside of this place? Yes. Okay. Enter inside of the home and describe to me what you see. Fire. There's a woman cooking over the fire. Okay, good. I think there are children in there too. Yes. Yeah. Who who is this woman to you? Do you know? I think she's my wife. 
your wife. Okay, good. And you said she is cooking. Uh, let's move ahead a little bit and see yourself eating a meal. Normally, the entire family will be present at the meal, and we can tell who it, who is in your family with you, who lives with you, and we can get further information about the time period that we're in. See yourself eating a meal with your family. Are you there? Yes. Okay. How many people are with you? Three others. Yes. My wife, two children. Okay. Tell me about your children. Both boys. Both boys? Okay, good. Can you tell how old they are? Some, one about five or six and the other about nine or ten. Okay, good. And your wife, can you tell how old she is? She's in her late twenties, early thirties. Okay, good. And what about you? Are you able to tell how old you are? I think in my middle thirties. Okay, good. If anything is fuzzy, foggy, or unclear, it will clear up as we speak. Next, I would like for you to see what you do for a living, what you do as a job or an occupation, or what you do with most of your time. See yourself doing that now. Describe to me what you see. Basic hunting, gathering, providing for the family. I see. And you do this daily? Yes, it's necessary to. Okay, good. Well, let's leave that scene that you've been watching and move forward to an important day. A day that you consider to be important when something is happening. We have now moved forward to an important day. What is happening? What do you see? People writing. Coming up the hill on horseback. Yes. They're not friendly. They aren't. Well, it's important to know that you will not have any physical sensations. You can talk about it. We are only here as an observer. Nothing can harm you mentally or physically. Tell me what's going on. Why are they there? I see. And what happens next? Oh, jeez. They're ransacking all the homes yes. outside of the castle, burning. If you are killing people. If you get to a point that you are uncomfortable and you would like to move from this scene, we can move. If there is anything of importance here the subconscious needs us to know, it'll come forward to you now, or we'll know that it's time to move forward. Has anything changed? They 
just, I'm fighting to keep my family safe. Yes. Did you succeed? No, I didn't. That's okay. What happens to you? Were you killed? How were you killed? Two guys held my arms while another one slit my throat. Well, see yourself take your last breath. We're on the other side of that. Whatever has happened has already happened. And we are on the other side of it. From that position, you can look back at the entire life and see it from a different perspective. Every life has a lesson and a purpose. As you look at the life, what did you learn from it? I see. And what do you think the purpose of that lifetime was? That you can lose all that you care about in an instant. I see. Well, see yourself in that lifetime take your last breath and follow the soul from your body. Follow the soul and tell me where it goes. Out away from the earth. Yes. Leading Can you tell where you are going? Home Home Good Is there anyone that comes to get you? Someone's there with you. Okay. And who is that? Are you able to tell? I think it was my wife from that lifetime. Yes. Okay. And where do you go from there? See yourself arrive at the next place that you go to.
I've been there many times before. I see. Tell me about the the location that you're in right now. this universe it's you can't describe it I see it's just home I understand do you notice anything in the center of the room I see. And what do you do from here? Do you approach that or do you go somewhere else? I go in. Okay. Well, see yourself go into it and describe to me what's happening. It is. It's surrounded with love. I rest, I rest there before moving on. I see. Are you there alone or do you have other souls with you? It is an embodiment of everything. Souls come and go. Leaving, arriving, resting, but there's giving a, up their. I'm sorry. Go they ahead. Give, they give up their experiences. There, the light needs to experience. So, do you give up your experiences there as well? Yes. I see. If there is anything else here of importance for us to see, the sub subconscious mind will bring it forward to you now, or we will know it's time to move forward. Has anything changed? I'm leaving. You're leaving? Okay. Describe to me what's happening. going to a council I've been there before they teach they help you prepare for the next life the next experience I see And how do they teach? It's just understood. I see. It has to be telepathically. I understand. And what is it that they are teaching? Or counseling you on?
my next lifetime experience. I see. What I need to do, where I need to go. And where is it that you've decided to go? back to earth yes well let's move away from that scene and leave the person there to continue on their own path we can either move forward or backwards to find another appropriate time and place that has information that you are that you need you are now at another appropriate time and place what do you see what is happening Have you moved from the place that you were or into another lifetime? That's okay. That's okay. Well, let's move backwards and go back to where you were with the council. There may still be there something there that we need to know. You said you were getting ready to move to another lifetime on Earth. Do you see yourself back at this place now? Yes. Okay. Describe to me what happens next. Tell me that I need to go elsewhere first. Okay. And where is that that they're wanting you to go? It's not Earth. Can you describe it to me? Okay. And what form will you be in? Spirit form. I see. To watch over a planet that's in a stage of development. I see. 
Well, let's move through that lifetime and describe to me what you experience. Witnessing. See. It's all oh, this has happened before. What is happening? They're destroying each other. They're destroying their planet. And we can't do anything about it. See. There are others there with me. But we don't interfere. How do you feel? Sadness. Yes. Helplessness. And so what? We have to, I'm sorry, we have go to ahead. Stand. We have to stand fast. We cannot interfere. I've done this before. Is your mission simply to watch? To observe, yes. I see. Are you able to see the beings that are there? Or they do they look human? <sighs> they are humanoid, but not like people on Earth. See? What is different about the way that they look? okay that's all right well whatever of importance is here the subconscious mind will bring it forward for you to see now or we will know it's time to move forward has anything changed they're all gone they're all gone and what has happened to them By what means? They had technologies they couldn't control. I see. Are you able to describe this technology or what it was made of? Similar to 
nuclear. That's slightly different. I see. Same results. I see. <clears throat> now how long did it take them to destroy themselves? How long was the cycle of life? Are you able to tell? I feel like I've been there for a long time. Hundreds of thousands of years. I see. Well, after they have wiped themselves from the planet, what do you do next? Gotta go back. Go back to where? To the place you were describing before? Yes. I see. Well, see yourself go there now and describe to me what happens next. All of us that left there. Go back into the light. Share our experiences. Rest. Do you travel to another lifetime next? Yes, I prepare for another one. Okay. And are you aware of what type of lifetime the next one will be? This one? Okay. Good. Well, if there is anything else of importance that we need to know, the subconscious mind will bring it forward to you to see now, or we will know that it's time to move forward. Has anything changed? So the lifetime that you are coming into is for you to rest? Yes. I see. Is there anything else that you need to know before we move forward? No. 
No. All right. Let's drift away from that life. We're drifting and floating away from that life, leaving the entity there to continue on his own journey. He will find peace. He will find what he is supposed to find. We're leaving him there to continue on his own journey. He will find peace. He will find what he is supposed to find. We're leaving him there to continue on his own path. Now I want all of the consciousness and personality of John to once again return to the body and fully integrate back into the body. May I speak to John subconscious, please? Yes. I have permission to speak to John subconscious. Yes. I respect the power of the subconscious because I know the subconscious takes care of John's body and does a very good job of it. I also know that the subconscious has the records of everything that has ever happened to John in this lifetime and all the other lifetimes he has ever lived. So I respect the power of the subconscious and I always ask for permission to speak to it and to ask questions. Do I have permission to ask questions? I know the subconscious could have brought forth many different lifetimes for John to see today. You chose to bring forward these two lifetimes for him to see. Why did you pick each of those lifetimes? To show him the parallels of what is happening in this lifetime. So that he remembers. What has happened. I see. What about the lifetime with the castle? Uh, where in the world was he in that lifetime? Somewhere in the British Isles. I see. Are you able to tell us what year? Very good, thank you. And the life as a celestial being where he was watching over the planet. What planet was he watching? Are you able to tell the location or where in the galaxy it was? It wasn't this galaxy. I see. Is it a galaxy that we are aware of? It's been observed. Do we have a name for it? Sombrero Galaxy. Okay. Good. And what was the purpose of that lifetime? What does that have to do with his life now? That 
you can't always control everything. And to learn patience. That's me. Is this why he has never felt the need to accomplish something important in this lifetime like becoming a doctor or a lawyer but while also having the aptitude to do so? Is it because this lifetime was meant for rest? Yes. I see. Is there any information you wish to share with him more on this? He just needs to rest because of what happened before. I see. Well, John has a few questions that he has prepared. Is it all right if I ask those questions now? Yes. All right. He would like to know if he has ever been contacted by extraterrestrials while he was asleep. describe what type of beings these are or what they look like they are interdimensional light beings I see what has caused John's migraines He's been told it was from a past life attachment that he had a head trauma. Is this true? Are you able to release the attachments that are causing the pain without disturbing his energy? Yes. Could you do that now so that he doesn't have to experience those migraines anymore? Yes. All right. Do that for me now, and if you can, tell me what you're doing while you're healing that.
energy field to protect him from any more involvement that might harm him. Very good. Have you had time to complete that? Yes. Very good. And John would like to learn how to astral project. What does he need to do to accomplish this? Are you able to open any channels and allow him to better do this? Yes. All right, could you do that for me now? Yes. Okay, just let me know when you've had time to complete it. And also with that, can you release anything that is tied to him or binding him from doing or learning astral projection? Yes. All right. Could you also do that for me now? His next question is, who is his closest soulmate, and does this soul currently live on this planet? Not on this planet anymore. I see. journey but we'll be together again later on I see and who who in this lifetime could he relate this soul to being like who is this person to him What about this lifetime? There's a soul very close to me. It's my son. I see. I see. All right. What is John's purpose this lifetime? He has 
it's used that many times. But he needs to understand that how much influence he can have. In what ways is he supposed to use this gift? Uh, helping people to transition. I see. This planet is going to shift. Many will go with it, many will stay. He has to help people move on. I see. And can you help him to better connect and understand what he is supposed to do? Open channels that will allow him to consciously be aware of those things. Yes. All right. Could you do that for me now? Yes. Thank you. And just let me know when you have time to finish. Are there any other blockages that need to be removed? No. Excellent. He was told by another person that he was an original soul. Is there such a thing and what does that mean? How many times has John incarnated? How many lifetimes of that has he lived somewhere else other than this universe? next question is there an event that he is here to witness or take part in before he moves on to the next life transition of earth into a different dimension I see can you describe or elaborate a little bit more on that
vibrations are higher. Many beings here to witness, to help. Many not from here, many have never been here, but are here to help the transition. And when is this transition supposed to occur? Well, it's happening now. Right. Time is not relevant to its transition. I understand. Is there anything more you wish to add to this topic? That everything will be okay. Nothing to fear. Absolutely. Who are John's spirit guides? He acquired his father along with one that has been with him for a long time. So, family member. They have traded places before. It is his turn to be my guide. I see. He asked, does he really have the ability to communicate with those who have transitioned to the next realm? Yes, he needs to trust that. He's had doubts that if he opens himself more he will accomplish that task easily I see can you help to open the channel so that he can open himself more to that yes alright would you do that for me now yes thank you Okay. Very good, thank you. Uh, is he able to communicate with those that have transitioned or in the other realms when necessary? And if so, how can he do this? He's having difficulty with that. Can you help him with that difficulty? Perhaps yes. re remove any blockages and open any channels? There is blockage. All right. 
could you remove those blockages now? Yes. All right. Thank you. And lastly, if we can, we would like to address the uh, chronic back pain that John has carried and the asthma that he has carried. Can we release and heal those now? Yes. All right, thank you. Excellent. By doing a quick body scan, is there anything else that we need to address today? I have six those. Excellent. Are there any messages or pieces of wisdom that you wish to share with John before we part ways? To take care of his body so that he can accomplish what he's here for. Is there anything more you wish to share with him? Nothing more. Excellent. Well, I thank you for your time and I thank you for your healing and your wisdom. And now I'm asking the subconscious to recede to where it belongs with much love and much thanks for the help and information that's been given John today. I know he is really going to appreciate it. And I want the entities from the other lives that we were speaking with to also recede into the past to the time where they belong with much love and much thanks for the information they have given us. And remember, the things you were watching are from the past. They belong in the past and we will leave them in the past. We only brought them forward as a curiosity to learn from, to have information to help with the present lifetime. In that way, they are valuable and have importance. But as John listens to the recording and goes over the material and puts it into place, it will not bother him in any way, mentally or physically. That is very important. It will not bother him in any way, mentally or physically. Now I want all of the consciousness and personality of John to once again return and fully integrate back into the body completely. Now all of the consciousness and personality of John is once again fully integrated back into the body, replacing all the other parts we were speaking to. Now I want John to move up, up, up through time and space and orient yourself back into the present day and time. Today is March 17th, 2022. You are lying on your chair in your home and you've had a very interesting experience. I want you to remember that the present life you are living now is the most important life of all because it's the one you were focused on at the present time. Any information that we can find in this way is valuable, but it will not bother you in any way, mentally or physically, as you understand it and put it into place. That is very important. It will not bother you in any way. Now in a moment, I'm going to count to ten. And on the count of ten, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderful all over, as though you've had a nice nap, a nice sleep. You will feel truly rested and refreshed. Anytime you do this, it will always be an enjoyable experience. 
Now follow me up as we go, and on the count of ten, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. One, two, you're beginning to breathe a little faster. Your blood is beginning to circulate a little faster because you're beginning to wake up now. Three, four, you're becoming aware of the physical body, very much aware of the physical body. You can move your arms and legs around to get the muscles working and the blood circulating because it gets tiring laying in one position like that. We're getting everything moving again because you're very much aware of the physical body. You're focused on it now because you're beginning to wake up now. Five, six, becoming aware of the sounds in the room and the sounds outside of the room. You're very much aware of your physical surroundings. You're oriented back here in this time and this place and you're beginning to wake up now. Seven, eight, you're coming up very nicely now, very nicely. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. How do you feel, John? Rested. <laughs> yeah. How long do you feel? Wow. How long do you feel you've been under? Maybe twenty minutes. It's been about an hour and a half. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay.